everyone, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Part 54, I believe. So you guys are looking at Taylor acquiring the mixology skill. I went ahead and purchased this really adorable tiki table. It came with The Sims 4 Deluxe Edition, I'm pretty sure. And to me, it is just so freaking cute. Like, look, look at, hold on, let's watch it. Spit the fire out. Come on. There we go. Thank you. It is so, so cute. And like I told you guys, I want a tailor to kind of take the mixology route instead of the chef route. So I think it'll be interesting. I don't know if Drake approves considering she's a teenager. She's out there mixing drinks and everything, but whatever, whatever. If she's making simoleons from doing it, that's all that should matter. Uh, also, when we left off, Megan was uh, with Hank, and a lot of you guys were saying, like, oh, yeah, 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 I like them together, so maybe that will happen, I don't know, but um, Megan's over here playing with Gretchen, aka, like, her only friend, so. Come on, Gretchen, Gretchen, you want some food, Gretchen? Yeah, of course you do, Gretchen, of course you do. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and go channel surf for a little bit, and Nadine's over here, like, yes, honey, make me a margarita. Well, I swim around in the pool. <laughs> uh, that's, that's all I get. Ooh. How old are you, sunny boy? Oh, you're a young adult. Never mind. We need some teenagers. Um, in case you guys didn't see my comment and everything in part 52, I said that you guys should go ahead and leave some simmies on the gallery for Taylor to possibly date using the hashtag life simmer. So please do so. I want to find some teenagers that are actually dateable. Um, because uh, there's like none in town, but okay. Hank's in my house. Just looking at my postcards. How are you? I'm gonna have Josh go ahead and wake up go take a shower and because he's here I say we come up here and actually talk to him a little bit tell him an unbelievable story Because I'm sure that's what he'll like try to calm him down because he might be a little tense. Let me look at his face Yeah, he's definitely a little tense right now <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and try to calm him down a little bit um, I don't know, maybe, maybe Megan can be like that, that person for, for Hank. She can be the, the one to calm him down and stuff. Yeah, he's very angry, actually. Oh, he's very angry, actually. So we're just gonna try to calm him down. Hopefully he's down for it. See, there we go. We'll give him a heartfelt compliment, brighten his day a little bit, just make him happy. And Oh, this one... Reached mixology level two. That's pretty freaking cool. Spending my Sunday making drinks by the pool. <laughs> All right, cool. See, now he's happy. So gave Nadine her old hair back because now she's not pregnant and her tatas aren't as big. So her hair actually fits on her. But she's going to go take a shower and use the body. And then I'm thinking maybe Ethan. Ethan is going to go. No, don't go over there. How about you come over to the park and play pirate for a little bit. And... Oh, Josh is eating. Oops, my bad, Josh. Go ahead and, yes, you can go use the potty. And I guess you can grab something to eat really quickly. Are these still good? Yes, they are. So he's going to go use the potty, grab some scrambled eggs, and then head down here with Mr. Ethan and chill out. He'll play as a sea monster. There we go. So he's going to do that. And Nadine, actually, I want you to go tend the garden in a little bit. Because it's looking rather fanciful. So we're going to come over here and, I guess, weed these and water them and all of that. Um, what's the matter with her? Um, this is awkward. Okay, then. Okay, then. Oh, because she was mourning a sim. That's really awkward. That is really, really awkward. Okay, Drake never saw that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? She needs to write a book instead of going and working on the, um, on the, the garden. So she's going to come over here and actually write a fantasy book. The Raven's Head Mistress. No, we're going to call it The Little Flounder. It's like The Little Mermaid, but it's Flounder's edition. So she's going to start writing that. And he's going to work on the garden over here, which I want to really... Let me head out here, actually. Um, possibly find some, some new flowers and stuff. No, I don't want that. I want, like, fruit. I want fruit. I don't want, I guess I can go ahead and actually purchase some seeds. I want the good stuff. <laughs> like, that makes no sense. Oh, we can make a prank call? Oh, we're doing it. We're gonna call up Alexis Orlando and be like, listen, what kind of name is that? I don't like it. I've never liked you. 
Hey, Go and get like two more planner pots really quickly. Okay. And then he's going to purchase some seeds and we're going to get starter fruits. Yay. And then we're going to open this up and uh, plant some, some new fruits. Since he's done with this. And this one's out here doing her thing. Taylor, actually, oh, she's feeling really tense. Girl, you're freaking making drinks. You're probably like the coolest girl in your school right now. Chillax. So she's going to come over here and look at these two reading. Oh, she's going to come channel surf. And is Gretchen okay? Okay, Gretchen's okay. I just want to make sure. I don't want her to die on me. Um, so I'm actually going to have these two kind of, oh, she looks really cute. Um, maybe the bikini will kind of make Hank a little bit more, I don't know nervous <laughs> she's feeling confident so i guess we can try to swab him into being with oh oh all right all right see her weave disappear same it's like oh you got me right in the heart awesome okay um oh we're gonna show him our muscles please stop and then we're gonna compliment her or his appearance and um Ask him, no, actually, don't ask him if he's single. Don't remind him of his wife. That's always awkward. Don't ask him that. Jesus. And then we're going to do a pickup line. Oh, and Josh is off to work. Um, we're going to compliment his appearance and confess our attraction. And Taylor, Taylor, why don't you go cook dinner, actually? She's going to go cook dinner for everyone. She will make some fish tacos and a party size. Oh, and what an achievement. Nadine finished writing an entire book. Oh, and he's totally not feeling it now. Seriously? Really, Hank? Oh, he's so indecisive on what he wants. It's really annoying, to be honest. Okay, we're going to come out here and sell our book to the publisher, the little flounder that could. Oh, and this lady's jogging on by. Oh, she has beautiful hair. Get it, honey. Yes, some custom content here. That actually didn't really fit my Sims all that well, but I mean, she's working it, I guess. I guess so. And we're gonna also come out here, harvest all of these, water them as well. And this freaking park over here is bopping. Ooh, who's this? She looks really cute. She's really cute. She made grilled chicken. She has a cute little outfit on too. Nice. Who are all of these chicks over here? See, she's rocking the hair too. She's working it too. Get it, honey? Yes. Oh, Nadine can now fertilize plants. Cool. Been there, done that. Oh, and you know what we should actually do really quickly? Let's buy some little decorations for in here. It's just so uh, bland, I guess, in this kitchen. I would love to be able to spice it up and really make it, I guess, me is the best way I can put it. Because I love to decorate. For those who don't know, I took interior design for like two years. It was so much fun. Like, seriously, so much fun. I highly recommend taking it if you're into decorating because, I mean, I love to decorate in real life, not just on The Sims. When I have the opportunity to decorate in real life, I take it because I really do love decorating. And sometimes it's really hard to, like, express that in The Sims, you know, because there's just oh, a limited amount of content, especially in The Sims 4, because we don't have, like, all the freaking color options and everything that we used to have, so it's definitely a lot harder to express that in The Sims 4. Um, like, a lot harder. Like, right now, I'm looking at all of this. I'm like, I've used this. I don't want to use it again. I'm thinking, like, for now, I'll just put that there. Just to kind of give the kitchen a little something, you know? It's just so bland. And then maybe over here in the corner. Oh, that is so cute. I want it. It's 12,000 simoleons, but still, I want it. Um, Maybe well, I have my, like, little piggy over here. I know what I want. I want the My Sim statue that has, like, the pizza. I guess I'll wait until I get him. Because he's so freaking cute. But, um... Oh, this is so cute. The cereal box. I love the cereal box. I love this. It looks like a little mess, but I, I love it. I think I'm going to do the cereal box. I don't know why. It's just really cute. It's like a nice little touch. Okay, that's what I'll do for now. <sighs> for now. I can't wait. And look at her cooking up dinner. Oh, Megan's, like, super embarrassed. Okay. We're actually going to throw those away. Like, tempted to get rid of these chairs in here because they eat all the time in here. I'm kind of sick of it. So, Hank, if you could, buddy. I'm going to go ahead and sell this. Sorry. I want them to eat in the, um, I want them to eat in the dining room. 
feet. There you guys go. There you go. Go eat in there. Good sims. Good sims. Okay, cool. And I think I want Ethan, yes. Oh no, don't eat the hot dog. Come home. Eat freaking fish tacos that your aunt cooked up for you. And Nadine as well. You can stop gardening for now and come eat. Because I don't want you to be working outside all day. Come on in. She wrote a book today. She gardened. I would say it's a pretty good day. Oh, Josh has won over the crowd at a local event when some attention hog gets jealous and starts heckling him. Um, go ahead and challenge him. Yeah. Yes. Performance gain small. Nice. Josh gets some good. Who's laughing now, clown face? Yes. 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 All right. So, Ethan, what are you eating? Eating in front of the TV. <laughs> Every little kid. Okay, we'll go ahead and actually go ahead and watch the kids' channel while you're eating. You might as well get the best of both worlds, right? Well, the adults kind of schmooze it up in here. The adults and Taylor schmooze it up in here. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to have probably Nadine go write another book because, I mean, come on. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Speed this up a little bit. She wants to have some fun because girls just want to have fun. But guess what? I want you to come over here and paint. Oh, she doesn't get along with Hank at all. That's weird. That's super weird. They actually don't like each other. Huh, he probably knows. He, she, she knows that Hank walked in um, on her mom naked in the shower. That's why she doesn't like him. Look, she has like the eyes on him too. It's like, oh yeah, Hank? Tell me more. Oh no. Drake's just like, mm-hmm. Megan's just like, uh, you better stay. Oh, she disappeared. <laughs> True. True. Okay, so they're just going to do their thing. And I guess Ethan, since he did that, he needs to come clean up the plates. He ate in front of the TV. Then you can come clean up after everybody else. Do the dishes for everyone. Since you ate in front of the TV and watched cartoons, you can come do this. Okay, and what are you over here making? Oh, it looks really, really cute. Actually, it looks like a little teapot. I'm liking, I'm liking. This looks nice. And instead of going to bed, you go use the potty. Oh, Nadine. So sad. She's going to use the potty and then come up here and play her violin for a little bit. And practice. And Nadine actually is going to head over here and probably continue writing because I really do want us to have like royalties flowing in because it's kind of paying the bills right now. I'm not going to lie. So I think we're going to write another fantasy one. And we also need to repair the sink or I'll just replace it. It's cheap enough. Okay, we will call this one the little crab. No, actually, <laughs> I'm going to name this, um, hmm, I'm going to name this Snow, Snow Height. It's going to be about a, a princess who is very tall, Snow Height, guys, and Taylor's apparently in bed already. Ethan, what are you doing? No. It's late, I know, and it's a Sunday. You have school tomorrow, but why don't you come over here and actually talk to Blarfy, call him names, tell him a story, cheer him up, and then go to sleep. And the toilet's broken over here. Cool, we're gonna go ahead and replace that as well. And I'm tempted to hire a maid. I don't think the maid's been coming lately. I don't know why, so I'm like tempted to hire one again. Oh, let me check this out really. <gasps> that is so cute. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. That is amazing. I love this. Like, I'm tempted to redo my whole kitchen just to fit this seam. Because that is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to leave that there for now. <laughs> so I remember to go back and change my kitchen scheme up. Because it's, I mean, you know what? I think I'm going to do it while they're asleep. So I will go ahead and jump back in a second. Okay, so funny story, actually. Jose decided to come pay a visit, so it's looking like Jose is going to be the ghost that we, I guess, bring into the house and Gretchen needs to eat. Um, but 
You know what? I kind of like the fact that Jose came out first and he's kind of going to be the one I play with because he didn't get to really fully explore space and everything. And I feel like him coming back would enable him to kind of continue his lifelong dream to explore space. And I love how Hank just jumps in the bed like, hey, oh, you know, I'm just going to spend the night tonight. OK, uh, so we are going to. Uh, talk to Jose a little bit. We can ask him about being dead, which is pretty cool. Um, we can... Um, that's pretty much the only thing we see that's a little bit different since he's a ghost. That's about it. Um, yeah, we can tell him to go away, but I don't think we're going to do that. So we're just going to kind of chat it up with him. And does she have like any special moodlets? Oh, she's, she's happy from playing soothing strings, but that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, before we go to sleep, hopefully we can get him to, um, to, I guess, join the household. I think you have to be good friends with him, which is kind of awkward that we're not. Um, so we're just going to kind of work on that a little bit. Hopefully he's down for it before time runs out. I'd love for that to, for us to be able to bring our daddy back. I'm going to go ahead and give him a hug. Because that's possible, guys. That's totally possible. I will take a picture together. We'll brighten his day. We'll compliment his outfit. We'll be like, that shirt looks fabulous. Reveal our deep secret to him, which I don't know what exactly that would be. Probably Hank, but that's about it that I can think of. And then we would, or we're going to express our admiration for him. Oh, and we're now good friends. Can we invite him? Can we invite him? Come on. Come on. How does one do this? Come on, buddy. I really want you. I really, really want you in my house. So if you could just do it, that'd be awesome. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Um. Come on, Jose. I really want you. And it's starting to become morning time. So if you could hurry up, that would be awesome. We'll flatter him. We, I wonder if we said goodbye what he would do. Do you think he would like go disappear? I think he would. We'll ask him about being dead again. Maybe that will like make him be like, listen, I don't want to be in. Oh. Where'd he go? Why is there so many bees out here? Do you guys see that? Why is there so many bees? Is there like a beehive? Like, why is there so many bees? That's really gross. But before we head to bed. Oh, wait. Oh no, I think he's still awake. Yeah, he's still awake, right? Yeah, he is. Oh, Jose, why are you doing this to me? Megan, no, don't go feed Gretchen. Come back. <laughs> Come back. We're going to ask him about being dead again. We are going to, I guess, hug him. Why is he doing this to us? Megan's like exhausted. Don't feed Gretchen. I will have somebody else feed Gretchen. Taylor, please, go feed the animal. Thank you. You go over there and talk to your freaking dad. Jeez Louise. Okay, we are going to... Come on, Jose, please. Uh, take a picture together, because that... He would show up, right? Yeah, totally. Um, we're going to compliment his outfit, continue doing our, our socializing. The dad. Yes. Oh, and she's over here like, yes, I'm feeling real playful today. Oh, and here's the kitchen. Um, I didn't do too, too much. It is now pink. Yes, our kitchen is pink, but look how cute. Look how cute that is. Um, decorations for the most part are exactly the same. The only thing I added in was like this adorable little orange wood panel decoration. But other than that, that's all I did. <laughs> um... But I just love that photo, and I would love to decorate this kitchen more, because I really like it. Come on, you two. Let's go. This is ridiculous. I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I'm pretty sure, for the most part, this is how you do it. Um, we'll have a deep conversation with him, maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. You just have to be really, really good friends with them, and then I think you get the opportunity to bring them into the household become best friends become best friends right now are you guys best friends no 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 no. i don't think you guys are best friends become best friends yes yes 
Yes, they are becoming best friends. Mm-hmm. Daddy's little girl. Legit. Daddy's little girl. Okay. So, can we do anything different now? Like, can we ask him to move in? Banter with old friend. Girl, stop. <laughs> um, stop. Can we ask him to move in now? That would be so awesome. I don't think we can yet. And it's really making me mad. Okay, banter with your old friend. Because he's like your freaking dad. He's been there since day one. He is your old friend. Literally day one. Okay, um... Come on, Jose. Come on, bud. We'll ask him to hang out. As it is almost 7 a.m. And I'm pretty sure that's when ghosts disappear. Oh, yeah, he disappeared. Oh, no, he's... I think he's going downstairs to go disappear. Adios, amigos. It's been real. And there he goes. He's off. He's down for the night. Ah. <sighs> Oh, well, she's she's going to sleep. She is exhausted. She stayed up all night coming best friends with her dad, who is now a ghost, but that's pretty freaking cool. And he will definitely be joining the household in the next part, that's for sure. Um, so I guess Ethan's going to take a quick shower or a bubble bath or whatever he's doing. And I think I'm going to end this part here, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please let me know um, what you guys want to do with Megan and Hank. I'm really wanting them to get together. I think it'd be, don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.